Hi there, I'm Henry, a trainer here at Justice, and today we're going to quickly have a look at searching for EU content on Justice One. So you can search for uh, content from all across the uh, EU on our platform, uh, including jurisprudence, legislation, as well as treaties. Uh, we also do hold record actually from uh, ECHR, uh, so European Court of Human Rights content, and other Council of Europe content, um, that one would be found within uh, cases rather than EU. The EU search will be exclusively limiting yourself to EU specific content itself. Anyway, on searching for EU content, uh, you can limit your results uh, by any of the specific EU sectors you want to search by. You can also add in any specific fields. Um, this search reflects the Eurolex databases. So if you're familiar searching by any specific temporary field on that database, you can click into here to add any specific field that, that you'd be comfortable searching by. Right, so uh, we'll just make search for a case. Go, and you'll see your following results will come up. You can actually search for EU content on Justice One by name as opposed to having to string together a uh, select reference number. So we'll click into this particular case. And you'll see we have some document analysis tools as well as the full text record uh, available to see. We have an overview screen uh, giving you a bit of information about the, uh, a bit more information about the specific uh, judgment itself. Um, but before we move any further, I'll quickly point out that this is the judgment uh, from the Court of Justice. If I click on the drop down, it will show me the opinion uh, of the Advocate General as well. But if I do go on to that uh, particular view, a warning will come up telling me that the official judgment has subsequently been delivered as well. I'll quickly go through some of these tabs on the uh, document analysis side of things. So you've got the overview, as we said, which talks about, uh, which gives you the general information about this specific uh, case. You have the precise legal points here, cases cited, as well as legislation cited or ordered by date. Citing cases, showing you all cases which have subsequently cited this particular uh, judgment. Citing domestic cases, which show you the domestic cases which have also cited this particular uh, judgment as well. And if we click into this, it will give us the option to go into the local as well as the EU uh, jurisdictions as well. If we click into a multiple view, it will give us the option to work across those two documents side by side. And I have the option to work between the full text record as well as the analysis side of things on both cases. In any case, I'll use the single view button to return into the single view just for my um, fact same case. And we'll just move on. You have lists of related articles uh, related to this particular uh, case as well. And you have a filter button to search within those as well. The full text record gives you the um, full text transcript of this specific judgment and the citations and sources will show you all the third party platforms where you might be able to uh, find records for this particular judgment. We'll show you the specific law reports which have uh, reported this particular uh, case as well as linking you straight through to the primary sources on the Eurolex database as well. I can click through to not only take me through to the Eurolex databases, but actually take me through to the specific judgment directly on the database as well. So within one click, I can get straight through to the record I'm looking for. This is a very quick look at uh, some of the EU content on Justice One. Uh, if you'd like to know more, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us in the training team. We'd be more than happy to get a training session booked in for yourself to run through everything in a lot more detail. You can contact us at training at justice.com. Thank you.